struggling to lose weight despite all the effort, you're not alone. It's a common tale, counting calories, hitting the gym, yet the scale barely budges. Many of us have been there stuck in this frustrating cycle. Enter the Obesity Code by Dr. Jason Fung, a game changer in the weight loss arena. This physician specializing in obesity and kidney disease challenges the conventional wisdom of weight loss. But what if the weight loss advice we've been given is wrong? You've probably heard calories in calories out, right? But what if that's not the full story? It's time to debunk the calorie myth. The old school of thought that all you need to do is burn more calories than you consume to lose weight is an oversimplification of a complex process. Our bodies are not simple machines. They are intricate systems that regulate weight through a network of hormones. Central to this network is a hormone you've likely heard of, insulin. Picture insulin as a sort of traffic cop, directing where energy goes in our bodies. When we eat, insulin levels rise, signaling our cells to take in glucose from our bloodstream. Any excess glucose is then stored as fat. Now here's the kicker. Not all calories are created equal. 100 calories of broccoli affects insulin levels differently than 100 calories of soda. The broccoli, being fiber-rich and low in sugar, causes a mild insulin response. The soda, however, being loaded with sugar triggers a surge of insulin. This insulin surge tells your body to store fat, and the more frequently these surges occur, the more our cells become resistant to insulin. This resistance means our bodies need to produce even more insulin to get the same effect leading to a vicious cycle of fat storage. So, it's not just about calories. It's about what those calories do in our bodies. The calorie myth has been debunked. The real secret to weight loss lies not just in counting calories but understanding how different foods affect our hormones. Let's talk about insulin, it's not just for diabetics. You see, this hormone plays a starring role in our weight loss story, but how does it do that? Well, one of the main characters in this plot are those sneaky, refined carbohydrates and sugary drinks we often find ourselves reaching for. They might taste great, but they're like villains in disguise. When we consume these foods, our body's insulin levels shoot up. It's like a roller coaster ride, but not the fun kind, more like the kind that leaves you feeling dizzy and disoriented. And there's more to this ride. High insulin levels have a bit of a domino effect, they keep us feeling hungry, even after we've just eaten. It's like our body's saying, hey, I need more fuel. But what it's actually doing is creating an endless cycle of hunger and eating. But that's not all. High insulin levels also play a sneaky trick on us. They hinder our body's ability to burn fat. Instead of using up the fat stores for energy, our bodies continue to hoard it, like a squirrel stashing away nuts for winter. This is because insulin is essentially a storage hormone. It signals our bodies to store energy primarily as fat. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Insulin levels matter. They tell our bodies whether to store fat or burn it. It's time to pay attention to insulin and break free from the roller coaster ride of high insulin levels. So if it's not just about calories, what should we focus on? The answer lies in the quality of the food we consume. Processed foods, sugary drinks, and unhealthy fats are the real culprits behind weight gain. They're like Trojan horses, appearing harmless on the outside but wreaking havoc on the inside. Let's talk about processed foods first. They're often packed with hidden sugars, unhealthy fats, and artificial additives. These ingredients can cause our insulin levels to skyrocket, leading to more fat storage. The same goes for sugary drinks. Even the ones labeled as diet or zero can confuse our body's natural hunger and fullness cues, leading to overeating. And then there's the matter of unhealthy fats. These include trans fats and certain saturated fats, which can increase inflammation and insulin resistance. This is not to demonize all fats though. Remember healthy fats like those found in avocados, nuts and fish are essential for our body's functionality. Now let's discuss insulin resistance. Over time, when our bodies are continually exposed to high levels of insulin, they start to become less responsive to it. This is known as insulin resistance, a key player in weight gain and even diabetes. But here's the good news. Insulin resistance is reversible. And the reversal process begins with making smarter food choices. Remember, it's not just about eating less, it's about eating right. With the right foods we can reset our body's natural weight regulation system, conquer insulin resistance, and unlock the secret to sustainable weight loss. So stay tuned as we delve into the solution in our next scene. So, how do we win the battle against high insulin levels, you might be asking? Well the secret lies in two key strategies. Lowering insulin levels, and improving insulin sensitivity. Let's start with the first strategy. Lowering insulin levels means we need to reduce the triggers that cause our bodies to release insulin. 
This is where diet comes into play. Specifically, we need to focus on a diet that's low in refined carbohydrates and sugars. These are the culprits that cause our insulin levels to spike. Instead, we should be filling our plates with foods that are rich in healthy fats, protein, and low-carb vegetables. But what exactly does this look like? Picture a plate filled with a generous portion of leafy green vegetables, a piece of grilled chicken or fish, and a side of avocado or a handful of nuts. This combination is not only delicious but also keeps your insulin levels in check. Now let's move on to the second strategy which is improving insulin sensitivity. This is where physical activity and intermittent fasting come into the picture. Regular exercise, especially strength training and high-intensity interval training, can significantly improve your body's sensitivity to insulin. And what about intermittent fasting? It's a dietary pattern that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. It might sound intimidating, but it could be as simple as skipping breakfast. This gives your body a break from producing insulin, allowing your insulin levels to naturally decrease. These strategies might sound challenging at first, but remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Start small, make one change at a time, and gradually build up. And don't forget, you're not alone in this journey. Reach out to a healthcare professional or a support group if you need help. Lastly, keep in mind that this is not about following a strict diet or a quick-fix weight loss plan. It's about making long-term, sustainable changes to your lifestyle. It's about understanding how your body works and making choices that support your health and well-being. It's not about a diet, it's about a lifestyle change. Remember the key to unlocking the secrets of weight loss lies in understanding and managing your insulin levels. It's time to crack the obesity code and embark on a journey towards a healthier, happier you. Remember this isn't a quick fix, it's a long-term game. While fad diets might promise quick results, they often lead to rebound weight gain. The real secret to lasting weight loss is sustainable lifestyle changes. It's about rethinking your relationship with food, incorporating regular exercise, and prioritizing sleep and stress management. We encourage you to continue your journey by learning more about healthy eating strategies. Change your lifestyle. Change your weight. You've got this. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We're so pleased to have you with us today. We're going to venture into the rich, enlightening world of The Obesity Code, a revolutionary book that could be your key to unlocking a healthier, happier future. It's not just another weight loss guide. It's a comprehensive manual for understanding the complex science behind obesity and learning how to manage it effectively. This book could be your ticket to regaining control of your health and wellness. So, if you want to keep yourself informed about the latest health insights, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We want you to be part of our health conscious community. Stay tuned for more health insights. Before we wrap up, we have a small request. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. It helps us know that we're making content you find valuable. Share it with your friends who might also benefit from it. Let's spread the knowledge and create a healthier world together. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We have a library full of health insights waiting for you. And make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest updates. We're constantly researching and sharing the latest health and wellness science. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.